Hello, hello, hello. I hope that you are loving on you some of you on today. Today, I want to let you guys know that um, I'm going to be doing vi videos every one. But at this point when we get in the house I'll change it up and I'll you know let you guys know ahead of time when my other days will be but for now it's going to stick to Wednesday until we get situated okay today's video is going to be about you know you can help somebody but boy well, actually wouldn't even be help you can assist somebody at certain times when that person is always in a constant need meaning that they never look at their situation to change their situation that way they're not always needing some help from somebody so you have to be wise in helping certain people for instance let's say I have a cousin and her phone number changes every six months it seemed like it's a new phone number why I've had the same number going on 13 years and that's my number I got when I moved to South Carolina and I'm here now and I still got the same number but long story short um your phone number is always changing to me when your phone number is always changing it's unstable to me it's unstable unless you got a stalker and you just have to change it because of a specific reason and um you always are trying to have the latest shoes, purses, bags, or whatever the case may be, or the latest vehicles or whatever that you really can't afford. That it's not wise for you to take your hard-earned money to help that person. Why? Because that person has not grasped the um, concept of live within your means. Because if you were able to pay for all the things that you have, you wouldn't always need somebody to help you. So those are the type of things you need to have wisdom with. So then let's say we do have a person that's really in need. Let's say you have a another cousin who's a single mom she going to school she's working and you know she's not driving nothing real fancy she don't always try to have the latest of everything and she's really doing her best to stay above water and you know she need electric pill bill paid or something paid i don't mind helping but what i've learned is keep track of everything now if you can't take a check from me you can't get no money from me why because in the corner of that check is going to say loan to be repaid by blah 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 it sounds crazy, guys, but I've been to court for um, other people, you know, as witness for other people, whatever. If you got proof, you're going to get your money back. So it's not nothing, you know what I'm saying, nothing that you have to be stressing about or whatever, especially if it's your hard-earned money and it's, it's over a certain amount. So to protect yourself, give them a check or give them a money order. Something that you can verify that you have given them that money and give them stipulations. Don't feel bad to ask for your money back. If it's a certain time and you gave them 30 days to pay you a certain amount every week and that first and second week they have not paid you back, give them a call. Give them a certain time. After, I mean, you have to be, um, you have to be, uh, what is the word for? You just have to say when enough is enough, at, you know, depending on the person in your relationship. Now, I don't have a problem. Like, for instance, I have one friend, um, we just sent something to her and she, she will let me know, hey, I know I owe you that 300 and something dollars, but boom, boom, boom. I'm going to give it to you at this time because this will happen. That right there, anything can happen. That's being responsible. That's being, um, you know, that's being, that's letting me know that you are not just saying, oh, you gave me the money, forget you, you know? So that right there, those type of things I keep in mind when you need me again. So, um, you keep it, 
keep track of it. Keep it on a check or money order and be wise with the people that you allow to get money from you. This is your money, your hard earned money, and it's hard to get people to give money these days. And the reason my husband and I are so anal about money and budgeting is because we've been in those hard situations. We've, been, we've had those times where we ain't got nobody to get nothing from. You get what I'm saying? So we were determined to get ourselves out of our rut, make it better, and we were able to bless other people, but make sure that we're good before anything. So, when letting people borrow, look at their situation. Look at their repetitive spending. How do they spend? Is it responsible? Is it irresponsible? Is it because they're trying to flaunt or live like the Joneses? Look at their situation and evaluate it before you release anything from your hand. Then, my granddad and my husband's granddad used to tell me this too. If you let somebody borrow something, think of it as if you're not going to get it back because you just never know what could happen. You get what I'm saying? Never let somebody borrow something that's going to hurt you. Never let somebody borrow an amount that is going to be to the point where it's going to ruin you or screw you up financially. You never do that. So that's just a tip on um, lending money out. I hope you guys are enjoying this channel. If you have any questions or anything, please leave it below. I had to get something out for you and I thought this was really important because this is something that we just faced recently and sometimes you got to say no. Learn to say no because it'll leave you less stressed in the end. Say no, you know, because it will save relationships. Money mess up a lot of relationships. You just have to tell them, no, I ain't have it. I don't got it can't do it and don't feel bad about it why it's your money not theirs so talk to you guys later and remember stick to your script because you are the best at it and i will see you guys next wednesday love you bye bye